a pleasant day to all of our listeners. We are the Group 8 and welcome to our podcast about the historical antecedents in the course of science and technology. We are the freshman psyches and the members are Jello Angel, Jade, Mary June, Harold, and Raudin June. The three major scientific and technological developments in the world were in the Philippines that created a large impact on our daily lives. Number one, DNA. A rapidly evolving understanding of DNA has catapulted medical knowledge and treatments and even transformed the way we solve crimes over the last 60 years. Since the discovery of the double helix structure of DNA by James Watson and Francis Crick in 1953, the scientific community has split into many different directions to investigate the building blocks of life in order to understand what makes us who we are. Without the discovery of DNA, we would not have all of the groundbreaking studies in genome mapping and sequencing that are currently underway. Number 2. Filipino Invention The Mingo Flowering Philippines is a major source of mingos in the world. With $91 million worth of exports in 2015 alone, the country ranks 7 in the global market. Regions such as Alaka, Central Luzon, and Western Visayas are among the country's biggest producers of the seasonal fruit. Forty years ago, Filipino horticulturalist Dr. Ramon Barba developed a simple method for inducing early flowering in mango plants. His invention, widely used today, revolutionized the Philippine mango industry, making the crop one of the country's top export earners. Number 3. Egyptni Egyptni not only has major impact in my daily life but also in the society. Egyptni makes transportation easier, more affordable, and transportation that you can also interact with people and fit in even if you have many friends. Since the fare is expensive when riding a tricycle, it is better to ride in a jeep because we can save money that we can use for educational purposes. Since 1950, when World War II era, American military vehicles were converted into a cross between buses and jeeps. The Philippine roads have been home to the iconic Egyptni, an environmentally friendly version of the vehicle. What historical antecedents gave rise to the inventions you mentioned in the first question? DNA. DNA was discovered in 1869 by Swiss researcher Frederick Mischer, who was originally trying to study the lymphoid cells or white blood cells. Instead, he isolated a new molecule he called nuclein from a cell nucleus. DNA today is credited to James Watson and Francis Crick, who discovered DNA's double helix or spiraling intertwined structure in 1953 which is fundamental to our current understanding of DNA as a whole. Mango flowering Before 1974, mango was commercially neglected and remained a minor fruit that generates little revenue because of its seasonal and erratic fruiting cycle. The twin Dr. Ramon Barba decided to study mango production, and after all experiments and practice done, in 1974, he invented mango flowering which developed a method for inducing early flowering in mango trees using ethyl and potassium nitrate. His invention has rapidly been adopted in the Philippines as well as in Asia and Latin America. Egyptni Egyptians originate from the American colonial period share tactics known as autocolesis, commonly shortened to AC. This evolved to modified imported cars with attached carriages in the 1930s, which served as cheap passenger utility vehicles in Manila. These vehicles were mostly destroyed in World War II. The first locally produced Egyptian was launched in 2008 and started to transport passengers for free in Makati in 2009. Leonardo S. Sara is known for designing and popularizing the jeepney. 
Filipinos began to modify jeeps into a sort of minibus to accommodate more passengers and shelter them with the roof. How did the developments in science and technology shape human history? All throughout the years, us humans have gained control of nature and molded it into our will. And using our knowledge from the world, we have changed it in a way that has benefited us in our daily lives. In a general sense, science is a study of the natural world. It is the application of knowledge and understanding of the natural world wherein it follows a systematic methodology based on evidence. It is also a process of expanded knowledge over hundreds of years, and having knowledge comes up with capability to bring change in a society. Technology, on the other hand, is where we apply our scientific knowledge to achieve a particular goal. It solely promotes the change and manipulation of the human environment. Science and technology has advanced into many areas of our lives throughout the years wherein it made our daily living easier such as having more accessible ways for communication, transportation, and the list goes on. Some of the most basic kinds of technology have had the biggest impact. An example is the wheel which is one of the earliest and greatest technological achievements that is still used up to this day. It allows us to transport people and goods across long distances. The essence of how science and technology contribute to society is the creation of new knowledge and the utilizing of knowledge to boost the well-being of human lives and to solve the various issues that society faces every day. Wheeled vehicles, battery, shoes, telephone, and compass. These are some inventions from the past civilization that we still use up to this day. These inventions make our life easier, faster, and sometimes to save lives. Wheeled vehicles was invented by ancient Mesopotamian people around 4200 to 4000 BC to make traveling faster. Battery was discovered by Alessandro Volta in 1977. It consists of discs and two different metals such as copper and zinc, separately by carbon soap and brine. Mesopotamian civilization invented shoes during 1600 to 1200 BCE. These were introduced by mountain people on the border of Iran. Its main purpose is to protect their feet. Alexander Graham Bell invented telephone on 1847. Because as a teacher of deaf, he conceived the idea of electronic speech. While visiting his hearing impaired mother, that idea sank on his head and he made the electrical speech machine, also known as the telephone. Magnetic compass was a device for divination during Chinese Han and Tang dynasty about 206 BC. They used magnetic compass in their first civilization to navigate places for traveling. Why is there a need for inventions? Throughout history, there has been a gradual increase of population among the human race, and as a result of this phenomena, the basic needs of each member of the population also increases accordingly. In order to ease the incessant demands of our society and enhance humanity's way of living, inventions come in play. Most of the technology that we enjoy to this day are inventions that emerged out of human necessity, while some were just mere outcomes of a simple mistake made by a scientist. No matter how big or small the inconvenience we face in our lives and how little or great of importance the daily needs are, the humans are inherently motivated to study, learn, make hypotheses, and perform experiments in order to better understand the natural world for the creation of something new that can help solve problems, reduce human suffering, and find better alternatives that lead to a much more productive lifestyle. To cite an example, mobile phones were primarily invented because people wanted a portable device that allows them to communicate with each other at any time of the day and no matter what their location is. When the device was made, it greatly helped the human population in general as this particular technology offered a convenient form of communication service for everyone, to which in this day, its features slowly became smarter and more compact than ever before. The things mentioned served as concrete proof of the well-known proverb in the field of science and innovation. Necessity is indeed the mother of invention. This concludes the reason as to why there is a constant need for inventions in our society today.